Welcome, Amy Barney here. So what does Marcus Aurelius have to say about Facebook? All right, I know obviously he wasn't alive during Facebook uh, when it was created, but I was reading um, over the weekend a little bit about from Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, and there's this great quote in here, and it just hit me. Now, you know, you could read through this, and there is so much wisdom in here, and it's really hard to absorb it all, so I could see how you could want to read this over and over again. But there was one quote specifically that stood out to me, and I think it's, it really applies to how a lot of people interpret so, social media and how it affects their value, how it affects their in their way of their perceived value of themselves. And it's such a great quote. And uh, it's okay. So he says, "Everything in any way beautiful has its beauty of itself, inherent and self-sufficient." Praise is no part of it. All right, so this is the praise from Facebook, right? Where people, they feel like they're not good enough if they don't get enough likes, if they don't have enough friends, if they don't get enough comments, if people don't share their stuff. Um, and then it eats at them and makes them feel like they're not valued. At any rate, praise does not make anything better or worse. This applies even to the popular conception of beauty as in material things or works or art. So does the truly beautiful need anything beyond itself? No more than law, no more than truth, no more than kindness or integrity. Which of these things derives its beauty from praise or withers under criticism? Does an emerald lose its quality if not praised? And what of gold, ivory, purple, a, a lyre, a dagger, a flower, a bush? And so I just, you know, that really impacted me that, you know, does gold lose its value if it's not praised? Of course not. And just like you have inherent beauty and value within you. And no matter what you go through in life, no matter what people tell you, no matter the experiences you had growing up, that value has not changed. You are of infinite worth. And I know at times based on what we go through, experiences in life, the way people talk to us, treat us, um, the way we were raised, or even on social media, when you share from your heart or you share experiences and you don't get the feedback that you want, you can interpret it as being not good enough. It's not having the value, you know, not being of good value. But that is not so. <laughs> and so, you know, I think that's one of the things I'm most passionate about is helping women to realize how amazing they truly are and how much worth and value they have, no matter what experiences they're going through in life. And so does an emerald lose its quality if not praised? No, you too are an emerald and you have quality that is infinite. And it does not matter who acknowledges it or who... Um, you know, whoever or whatever says anything to you to make you feel less. You can only allow them to do that. It, you, it's The only way you can feel that way is by giving them permission, by giving away your, um, you know, your own, oh, I can't think of the word, but anyways, the only way to feel that way is to allow it. And, and so I just love this quote and I just had to share it. You're of infinite worth and nobody can take that from you. Nobody. All right, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow bright and early. Now, if you like this tip, this, you know, tidbit from this book, Marcus Aurelius, or you'd like to learn more, um, I would appreciate if you'd like to share a comment or if you want to share this. And if you would like uh, any more information, feel free to reach out to me or if you'd just like to connect. All right, I'll see you tomorrow morning.